What can separate me from the love of Christ? Okay, so now we've talked about restitution, meaning that deity offended must be punished, and the, and the wages of sin was death. But the death was the second death, eternal separation from, from God. I picked up a little track this afternoon on the way to the studio. It was entitled, Where Will You Spend Eternity? That's the issue. That's why I'm on TV sharing the gospel with you because I want to make sure that you know where you can spend eternity if you're not on your way there. But you're on your way to eternity someplace, heaven or hell. Restitution. Nothing we do. Restitution is a free gift because God determined what would, what would please him. Now, the next one is uh, redemption. Yeah. To redeem. To buy back. To purchase from slavery. To purchase from bondage. bondage. And redemption requires a redeemer. And on camera, camera two, Christ is the redeemer. And if you're in Christ, if you're in union with Christ, you have been redeemed. If you're not in union with Christ, you've not been redeemed. And there are some specific steps that one has to take in order to be in Christ or in union with Christ. If you're relying on his death only to put you in union with Christ and don't think nothing about the burial, the resurrection, the ascension, and the coming of the Holy Spirit, you're not in Christ. You might think that you are. But in Christ means that you have accepted what Jesus Christ has done for you. And part of that acceptance is that he had the ability, he had the authority. What good would it be Jesus to, uh, to die for the sins of the world if he couldn't get up? He'd still be there. But he had to get up to let us know what he had done. Look, in the New Testament, I counted them up today. Fourteen times during his earthly ministry, Jesus preached the gospel. Every time he told his disciples that he was going up to Jerusalem, that he was going to be crucified and buried, and he was going to be raised from the dead after three days, he was preaching a portion of the gospel. It wasn't the full gospel because he didn't tell us what it meant. Only a couple of places did he tell us what it meant. Uh, on the Mount of Transfiguration, when Jesus was on the Mount of Transfiguration in Matthew 17, on Luke 9, talking to Moses and Elijah, they were discussing the meaning of his death at Jerusalem. But he didn't tell them what would, what would be accomplished. And again, in John chapter 12, verses um, 27 through um, 33, he says, if I, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And the Bible said it means what he would accomplish by his death. But that's, that's all. But we didn't find out that Jesus' death was going to free the, make the 
whole world free from the penalty power and consequences of sin until after he had died, until after the Holy Spirit has come. That is good news. Mm -hmm. That is good news. So now we've, we've talked about restitution, redemption. Now we need to talk about Resurrection. <laughs> uh, on camera two, we, we, on camera two, we've been discussing restitution and redemption. He died on the cross and he was buried. And now on camera number five, we're going to talk about he got up. We're going to talk about the, resu the resu resurrection. He got up. I'm going to turn to, I'm going to turn to resurrection. One of the first assignments that God gave to me uh, after he called me into the gospel ministry was to take a look at the Nicene Creed. I looked at the Nicene Creed and discovered there was no salvation in it. Nope. Because there's no how. What good does it someone to give you a model of the most sophisticated computer in the world and doesn't give you any instructions on how to put it together. Every time you, got, every time you get a, a, a piece of furniture, a piece of electronic equipment um, that has to be put together, you got some instructions to go with it. Well, you, you don't have any good news until you get the instructions. The prophet told Naaman to go dip in the Jordan seven times and he would be cleansed. And at, when he dipped the seventh time, he came up clean, but he did not get clean until after he had dipped the seventh time. Had he stopped dipping at five or six, he'd have, left away from, he'd have went away from the water a leper. And until we get the instructions... The commandments, the, the power of God's word with power, as I said in, a, in an early presentation. That's what, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Resurrection. Now listen to what he said. I'm reading from, I'm reading from uh, Dictionary of, of Theology, Study of God. I believe the resurrection of the body. He confesses the absolute uniqueness and the supernaturalness of the person of Jesus Christ and the particular hope which he has brought to men. No other world religion has framed the confession embracing such clauses as these. Jesus Christianity is the is the only one, is the only religion where its power comes from a resurrected Savior. Not a reincarnated, but a resurrected Savior. So, we have restitution, redemption, and we're into the resurrection. Now, the resurrection of Jesus is one resurrection. The resurrection of a sinner to be born again as a Christian 
is a second resurrection. But there's going to be a third. And that's on both camera two and camera five. That's gonna be a that's gonna be that's gonna be a that's gonna be a that's gonna be a resurrection. Uh we we who are Christians who have died in Christ, we're gonna be raptured to be with him. First, now I don't know how long it's going to be before the people who died without knowing him are going to be resurrected, but there is going to be a resurrection. So that's, there, are three, there are three resurrections. Jesus was resurrected. The, 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 the sinner is resurrected to a new life in Christ. And the third resurrection is uh, the, 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 the believer is going to be resurrected uh, to a new life in Christ with a new glorified body. And he is going to forever be with the Lord in the presence of the Lord and in the glory of his power. But the unsaved person, the person that does not know Jesus in the pardon of their sin, they're going to be resurrected too, not reincarnated, resurrected. With a, with a, with a, uh, with a uh, imperishable, eternal body. That's what he's going to do. That's why the question is asked, where will you, where you spend, spend eternity? I'm almost, I'm almost there. Now, I haven't got to the best part yet. These are, these are, these are, these are the preliminaries to the, to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the good news. I, I, haven't, I haven't gave you the, the capstone of, of the good news yet. like you find in that Nicene Creed. You check that Nicene Creed. Find, look for the death, burial, and resurrection and what it means and how you attain it. That's what, that's what the good news. How do you put the thing together? How do I put all this, all this gospel, all of these, all these prophecies, all these promises, all these provisions, how do I put them all together? What's the good news for putting them all together? Resurrection in the New Testament. The theme of the resurrection of the, the resurrection of Christ is given more space in the New Testament than any other one basic Christian truth. I had an incident that happened to me last week. Uh, I'm doing some ministry, some outreach ministry at uh, BWI, Baltimore, Washington, Thurgood Marshall, Baltimore, Washington International Airport, talking to the traveling public. And I have my table and my Bible tracts and material uh, sitting out there on the concourse. And a gentleman came by and I gave him a tract. He took it and I watched him as he went on down the concourse. He was, uh, he was reading it. 10 or 15 minutes later, he came back and said, Reverend, do you have any more? Do you have any more tracks? I had 10 or 15 of them on the table. I said, yeah, I have, I have some more. And I started looking through there, and I told him I gave him this, I gave him this, I gave him that. He said, okay. He said, okay, you're good. He says, I was looking for the gospel because the one that I had I didn't see the resurrection. 